The Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday evening, the 6th of January. I'm James Spann. A warming trend for the rest of this week. More cold air next week and some rain at times along the way. Let's check things out this afternoon. That is the Water Vapor Satellite View. Big trough coming into the West Coast. Some very inclement weather for California, but it's some very beneficial rain. Uh, around here, it's a dry air mass, uh, partly sunny. Temperatures are in the upper 40s and low 50s for the most part at mid-afternoon. Birmingham, 49. Anniston, 48. Tuscaloosa, 51. Many locations will stay above freezing tonight as clouds increase. And around the nation, temperatures are moderating a little bit, and that will likely continue here for the rest of this week. In fact, a good chance we'll see highs at or over 60 degrees by Friday and Saturday. The watch warning map, the eastern half of the nation, very quiet. Most of the action is in the west. Winter storm watches and warnings, winter weather advisories for some of the southern Rockies, the mountains of Arizona, over into California, the Sierra Nevadas, and flash flood watches and warnings continue in effect for areas near the California coast for the El Nino rains that are moving in. Rain for the next five days, valid through Monday morning. This is suggesting rain totals around three-quarters of an inch here. Good numbers for California. And we'll take you through the dailies here. Here we go. The GFS, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon at 500 millibars. Big trough in the western states. And for us, the day will be mostly cloudy, but I think the day will be dry. We start the day in the middle 30s, and the high tomorrow should be in the mid-50s in most spots. You can see rain to the west around Little Rock and Shreveport, moving across the Mississippi River at midday. Tomorrow night, uh, we'll mention a chance of scattered light rain, but no big deal. Moisture very limited. Some locations might not see enough rain to measure, but just a chance of some scattered light rain tomorrow night. And then Friday, that wave is on by. Friday will be mostly cloudy and fairly mild. Uh, highs around 60. That'll feel pretty good. However, the rain comes in on Saturday as the weekend begins. Good model consistency in this idea. A surface low well to the north, south of Chicago. Snow for Des Moines, uh, Madison, Wisconsin, places like that. But down here, just uh, rain likely Saturday. Maybe some thunder. We're uh, clearly in the warm sector of that storm. No severe weather, of course. No flooding problems, but clearly a chance of a little thunder in spots. But uh, looks like a rainy day. And then Sunday, that rain is out. I think Sunday will be a cloudy, breezy, and colder day. Maybe temperatures dropping through the 40s or holding in the 40s. This is suggesting maybe a few snow flurries over Tennessee, maybe Huntsville or Scottsboro, but uh, down this way, nothing than more than some patchy drizzle probably Sunday, but just kind of a raw, cold, breezy day, blustery, if you will. Monday, cold pattern for the continental United States. Now, the GFS depicts a pretty good little short wave within the trough over Texas. And down below that, we are cold and dry Monday. Uh, again, the numbers have been trending up uh, in terms of temperatures, uh, which is a good thing. In fact, let me show you the anomalies for Monday. Uh, in fact, that's really showing temperatures not that far below average here. You know, we had some concern. We might see a big blowout with highs in the 30s and lows in the teens. That idea is off the table. This would su suggest a low in the 20s and a high in the 40s. Still cold, of course. And again, to the west, we've got that uh, wave maybe producing some snow around Wichita Falls, Texas, and Lake Texoma, and then rain for parts of Texas. And then Tuesday, that little feature comes in here, and the GFS is suggesting we might see some uh, uh, rain falling on Tuesday. However, the European says no. Uh, it's got nothing, and this model has been much more uh, accurate in the medium range. So for now, we're not going to mention any uh, rain on Tuesday. We'll leave it dry. Looks like they, uh, the, the, the European shunts that thing way to the south over the Gulf. Then Wednesday, just uh, cool and dry. Uh, lows around the freezing mark. The high would be around 50. And again, this run, not as cold as other runs we have seen. We'll keep it going. This is Thursday of next week. We're still cool and dry. And the end of the forecast period, Saturday, January 16th, little wave coming in with maybe a chance of rain at that point. Uh, how about the snow cover at the end of the forecast period, the 16th? Snow lovers are looking for something here. And understand, we almost always have at least, you know, two or three opportunities here in the deep south in January, February, and March. But uh, uh, these global runs not showing any optimism for the snow lovers for the next uh, 10 days or so. Check the teleconnections, Arctic Oscillation. Boy, look at that uh, deterministic run uh, just diving down negative. 
out there at mid-month off the European and the uh, North Atlantic Oscillation goes strongly negative as well. But that seems to be an outlier. The other runs not quite that extreme. But clearly, what what's that's telling us? We're not going to have any of that El Nino blowtorch warmth anytime soon. But the numbers just don't look that bad coming off the ensemble. Yeah, we get the colder shot early next week, but not as cold as other runs. And uh, after that, temperatures kind of where they should be for this time of the year. Rather uneventful, if you will. But again, that could change, of course. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on the uh, live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.